been? It, it's been a wild three months, I would say. Yeah. So I was crowned in June and it was a whirlwind experience because I've been competing in the Miss America organization for six years and went to Miss Wisconsin four times and this was my last year of eligibility so I put everything into it and I'm so happy that I now am able to represent the state. What were you thinking when they when they announced that you were the winner? I had this outer body experience yeah. almost where I was like this is actually happening. I really did it. I won. I finally was able to achieve one of my goals oh, yeah. and I'm so excited to be able to go to Miss America now and represent Wisconsin. And I want to talk about some of those goals because even with the organization some yeah. members said you know what she's the real deal. You have you have a platform that you've had since you were very young. Tell yes. us about that. So my my social impact initiative is about providing more opportunities for individuals who have disabilities and that stems from my aunt Cindy who has an intellectual disability. So I have been around people with disabilities for a very long time and saw the capabilities and the resources that were out there for those with disabilities and wanted to extend that. So I've been a part of many different nonprofit organizations such as Special Olympics. I'm on the board of directors for them and I do a lot to be able to let our new youth know about what they can do to get involved. And you're also a special ed teacher in the Racine yes. district. How hard is it? to have to step away from a year because it is something you love. It is. Uh, it's funny because I was just at the Case High School's homecoming assembly yeah. last week and I got to see a bunch of my students and they were like, Miss Bowl, we really miss you. <laughs> we hope you're doing well. But it was really nice to see them and I know I'm sure I'm going to see them again very soon. And I know it's one of your goals to include everybody. You've helped start a cheerleading team yes. that allows everybody with disabilities to mm -hmm. join that team. Why is it so important, especially right now, that we start thinking that way? Our society is so divided right now and my social impact initiative does focus on inclusivity and it can focus on more than just people with disabilities. It can focus on race, it can focus on gender mm -hmm. and culture and that's something that I want our youth to start thinking about. They're our future and they're the ones that are going to be giving those opportunities for those with disabilities. So changing the mindset and having people have an equal opportunity is truly my goal. And really I want to ask you real quick because there's always something every year we hear about some sort of controversy but with the swimsuit issue there have been a, a lot of people coming out saying that it's almost insulting that they will not allow some of these contestants to go out in their swimsuits. How do you feel about that issue? I've always been a fan of swimsuits. Uh, I think that it has helped me to be physically and mentally ready for my job as Miss Wisconsin and my job as a professional. But I understand the transition that they're going in. They want to stay relevant and the Miss America organization is relevant. All of us are professional women that are trying to achieve goals. And I think we need to remember that the Miss America organization still has the main component of community service and scholarships. And that's what we should be promoting. And you are all about community service. We appreciate yes. you joining us. Of course, best of luck to Thank you, you as you compete. Thank we'll send you it so back much. To you guys. All right, thank you so much, ladies. 614 is the time right now. A white September, a look at the